It only takes a few seconds to get caught in a rip current, swept deeper into the ocean where you're suddenly swimming for your life. This amazing image recently goes viral. Strangers on Panama City Beach making a human chain to rescue a group of swimmers caught in a rip current. But if you don't have a human force like this one to save you, could you survive the strength of the ocean? Low tide's usually the most dangerous. Ison Witcher joined Ocean Rescue in Brevard County when he was 16. He says he'll never forget the first time he went in to save someone from its grip. I rescued a kid that was the, the basically the same age as me. Unfortunately, that didn't uh, end well for him. That one, that one sticks uh, the most to me, and uh, that's most of the reason why I do what I do out here is uh, uh, just try and save as many as I possibly can. Rip currents are narrow channels of water that pull away from the shore. A typical rip current ranges from 50 to 100 feet wide. Check out this video. It shows how the powerful channel can form in the middle of what appears to be relatively calm ocean waters. Rip currents move faster than an Olympic swimmer. I'll just scan back and forth in the water. They can stand, they can't stand. It's more preventative than anything. So beach patrol. If there's people on a surfboard that you see with a surf group and they're beginners, you can keep a special eye on them. He's always watching for them from above. And they might get caught in a rip current and get pulled out a little too far. Rip currents typically form at low spots or breaks and sandbars and also near jetties or piers. But for most swimmers, it's a hidden danger. You can't really see it when you're at eye level with the water and that's the danger of it. So lifeguard Caleb Portanova went into the waves with us to show us how to escape a rip current once you're sucked in. You lose your footing and start getting pulled out. He says the first thing to remember is stay calm. Try and get someone's attention for help. Don't freak out and start waving your arm and panic. That's when you lose all your energy and then you'll start going under. Don't swim against the current. Instead, move parallel to the shore to get out of it. Check out this diagram. Swimming with the current, those green arrows are your escape routes, directing you away from the flow and back to the beach. And if you're too tired to swim at all, Caleb says float on your back until help can get there. Just keep yourself afloat and that's all you really need. Brevard Ocean Rescue says it saved more than 600 people from the current's pull last year. A powerful force lurking in the ocean. Knowing how to react could save your life. In Cocoa Beach, Daniel Lama, Fox 35 News.